Hello, everybody. Welcome on in and happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Before uh, we jump into anything, I want to real quick um, get the Tuesday poll up on the screen. I took away like two options today. Um, I don't actually remember the reason. Let me center this. It's bothering me. I don't remember the reason I took them away, to be honest. Um, but these are just um, I feel like we had to narrow it down a little bit. Like, long story short, I feel like we had to narrow it down. So, you have seven options today for games we can play for Tuesday. Number one is Nintendo Switch Sports. Two, Animal Crossing New Horizons. And if Animal Crossing wins, just so you know, we will do a second poll deciding what town or island we want to play on. So, just keep that in mind. Three, Just Chatting. Four, Stardew Valley. Five, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Six, Celeste. And seven, Pokemon Violet. So, I'm going to let you guys vote that out. Um... I don't really think I have too many announcements. Like, it's pretty chill. Like, today's pretty chill. Also, I want to see how many votes you guys get before I say anything else. I think it's two. But I'm never, I'm never right on that. So, I think you get two votes. You can vote for two different things once. Um, you can't vote for the same thing twice, though. Just a heads up. Um, okay. I feel like I had an announcement, but I, I can't remember what it was. Loki, I tried to do the best that I could during the collab stream Wednesday to catch up with you guys. I even told I even told like Wobble Dude in advance too, and I'm like, my stream is getting mad at me for being like really bad at catching up with chat during collab streams. So I was like, heads up, I'm gonna try to do better. I think I did better. Could have been could have been better than the better that I bettered, but um I hope it was a little bit of improvement. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard though, cause like it's usually just Wobble Dude and I having like a conversation and then I forget that I have like other people to attend to, but um, I had a blast. And speaking of the stream we did Wednesday, I did add a new redemption option to that stream, which was the text to speech sabotage thing. Sabotage, I'm, now I'm just stuck saying sabotage cause that's all I've ever said, um, but no, sabotage. Yeah, so let's just say, Bill, thank you for the lovely demonstration. I, s I kept it because it was really fun to set up and I don't want to get rid of it. Like, I don't have a reason to. So, it obviously won't be to sabotage me, but, like, it'll just be there. I raised the price up a little bit, so it's a little difficult to get. Not too much. It's pretty average. Um, and then... Oh, that's true. It probably won't play on this screen. Oh my gosh, it won't play on my gameplay screen. Maybe it won't work today. I forgot that I have to actually set that up. It was a it was a last minute um, decision to keep it, but <laughs> I I will have to say I have to set up the audio and such on to um, my gameplay screen so that way it, it'll actually work. I know I'm sorry, Bill. I'll give it I'll give it back to you. <laughs> I'll pay for something with 800 points if you want. But um yeah, I'm sorry you had to waste it. But yeah, okay, I, I'll fix it. I probably I forgot that there was audio that had to go with it. Don't worry about that. It'll it'll be fixed a little bit. But um. Other than that, I don't, that's my only, like, real announcement, really, that I have. Um, question of the day, I will say, is what is or what was your biggest bad habit that you've ever had? For me, I have a lot. Like, I I just, I think my top two or three, I don't know about three, but two for sure. I used to bite my nails a lot. I have not done that for a really long time. Um, but it was really, it was really bad at one point. And then now I just I procrastinate a lot. Like it's so bad where I like wait till the very last minute to do anything. It could be big or small. Like it does not matter what it is, like good or bad. Like I just always procrastinate on every single thing. Yeah, Bill, I changed the the bot name. It was that for a while. And then I think OBS or Stream Elements or something had an update and it got rid of it. And I forgot to add it back until I remembered. Oh my gosh, I had a custom bot name. So it's actually Polywog bot. Um not stream elements anymore you know i i gotta say it's kind of an improvement polywog bot has just got that nice ring to it but um yeah that's probably my answer but let me catch up with chat i already talked to bill i hope you're doing good though bill welcome on in um hello peachy hello fade how are you guys doing today also congrats peachy on redeeming first i appreciate that um hello juan welcome on in we're just uh talking chatting for a little bit while the tuesday poll runs and um yeah i'm glad to hear that it's, it's a nice sunny day by you it was not a nice sunny day by me it was cold and snowy and cold so but yeah i'm glad you're having some some nice weather it's definitely good for the spring season for sure but um figured out how to play oh nice no that's kind of real that's kind of real the game crashes a lot you know it's an improvement it could be like at least you, you it's a start so you could like go from there but you got it to work so that's good you know 
but yeah, that's that is that is why the scallop that is still there, by the way, Bill. I'll, uh, you can buy something. Um, I'll buy it for you actually next time for 800 points if you want your points back. Cause I know it didn't work. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Heads up, guys. I'll, I'll, actually, no. I'm just. I won't do that. I'm going to real quick just disable it. That way, nobody else wastes points, and then I'll fix it. And by Monday, it will be ready to go. I promise. Um, let me get that fixed. I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want people to. Um, oops. Yeah, waste channel points that they don't need to. Hopefully it turns off though. I don't know if it will. We're gonna hope that works. Um, also, Bill, Jiminy Christmas, 40 stream streak. Why are you so insane? That's insane. Also, I, I don't know if I told you like verbally, but congrats on your piano test. I'm so happy that you passed. I didn't doubt you for a second, but like, congrats. I just gotta say. We need some hype and chat for Bill, by the way, because Bill did pass his piano exam. <laughs> but yeah, okay, 40 streams is insane. That's more than I think I've streamed. No, I'm kidding. 40 streams is just a lot. How many? Oh my gosh. Okay, no, let's do the math. How many months is that um, in total? Okay, I, I, thream, thream, I thream, stream three times a week. I don't know how to do math. Math is not... Let's do 40... Um, here, I have an idea. I'm going to see if, if, my, if math will work with me today. I don't even know. Can't find my calculator app. Okay. 40 divided by 3 is roughly... No. 40 divided by 3. Roughly 13. 13 weeks into months. 13 then divided by 4. That's about 3 months straight, Bill. Roughly. Estimate. Yeah. So about 3 months straight, you have been showing up 3 times a week for 2 hours. Usually. For my stream. So congrats. Bill, you're just literally doing too good today. <laughs> but thank you for sharing that. I appreciate all the support for sure. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I, we have had a lot of biting nails. I know Peachy, I, I saw your answer too, and I don't know why I like didn't say anything. Peachy and you, Bill, both said biting nails. I did too. So like, I think it's just a common thing with like, um, it's, it's like my, I think I just did it because it was a bad habit. It didn't really start from anything, but I know a lot of people do it for like anxiety and like nervous issues. I don't think I really did it for that. I think I just started one day and I couldn't stop, but I feel that it's, it's a hard habit to get out of, but I haven't done it for like, two or three years now so props to me i guess it's so hard though some days i want to some days i catch myself and i'm like no okay don't do that you know um yeah i know a lot of like um skin picking too especially like on your face that's just common that's just like i i do it too sometimes just because it's also just like a i have nothing else to do kind of a situation so i do something like that it, it makes sense but yeah i mean it's not like um I wouldn't say it's bad. It is normal, but it definitely has its consequences, like, with, um, you know, anything, for sure. But either way, um, let's see. Yeah, like, um, that's, like, three, if I did the math right. Bella, we got completely different answers. You got a month and a half, and I got three. But either way, <laughs> um, it looks, unfortunately, Bella, I'm sorry. Animal Crossing did win, though. Um, so we're gonna be playing Animal Crossing today, and before we do, I'm gonna get up onto the screen. What? Um... Wait, give me don't actually don't vote yet let me fix this you guys can only do one vote i gotta fix it i always like <laughs> forget to fix it so you guys are like voting for everything that'll just be a 50 50 okay let me fix that now so what island should we play on today your options very simple you have limelight or retro hills you get one vote and all you have to do is either say the name or chat the number to the left of the option you want to play on retro hills we did get all 10 villagers um, I did- I'm so excited about this. I did say off stream, um, one of the villagers that I- I villager hunted for. I got four new ones that you guys don't know of. Th actually, only three that you don't know of. Because we got Raymond together, and I told you about T-Bone, which was one of my dreamies, and I'm so super excited. I wanted him for Limeland specifically, but when I was villager hunting, he was, like, the first villager I think I found in that one, um, time i was villager hunting like that i like got you know, whatever I, it was like one day i was villager hunting he was the first villager i found of the day and i was like i can't pass him up like that's like passing up gold so i i had to take t-bone home that is the only one you know of but there's three other ones so if you want to see retro hills we'll be doing that dailies as well as working on our three star island rating so we can get kk i'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it um decorating a lot more we're very close as well to getting our nook's cranny upgraded i'm excited about that uh, Able Sisters was built as well, and I think that's about all of the 
real updates that have happened. It's nothing too big. I I decided, um, usually I'm I always want to make my characters and avatars look like me the best I can. But I'm I'm our, we've already broken rules on Retro Hills with time traveling and such. So I'm just like, let's just like screw it. Like let's just have fun with this island. So I gave myself green eyes and like a bunch of weird hairstyles. I change them all the time. I'm still trying to decide on like one hairstyle I want to have for my main one. But um, yeah, that's what we'll do on Retro Hills. And then for Lion Land, I think I'm going to try to work a little bit more on designing it if that one wins. It looks like it's in the lead right now, but um, because my town tour is coming up in about two or three weeks on YouTube. It'll be out. It's, it'll be like a video, really fun form, but I want to make sure my island's like spick and span. So we'll be doing some dailies. It'll be a lot of just chatting, but also a um, little bit of island designing. So it'll be a little bit in between. Yeah, Bill, if you're tired and you need to if you need to go to sleep, no worries. You should do that for sure. I don't want to keep you up. I know it's late by you, so don't worry. Um also, before we get into anything, I want to say real quick, there's a little like PSA public service announcement that I really want to get across to you guys. It's something that's like been on my mind and I just feel the need to like verbally say it. Um but I feel like Okay, here's my thing. <laughs> there's a lot, a lot to unpack here. I feel that, Bill, actually. I do feel that. If you, yeah, you do what you feel like you need to do, or if you can't sleep and you want to stay up, I said nothing, okay? <laughs> you do you. But yeah, I sh if you need to sleep, like, don't be afraid to, okay? I promise. I'm not gonna bite. Okay, but, um, one of the main reasons, like, I started streaming in general was to kind of create a community that was very, like, positive and, you know, people could go to after they had a really hard day. Like, just a really welcoming, warm environment that's, like, a safe space, family-friendly, you know, so everyone um, can join. But I feel like, kind of, like, over time, it's kind of, like, some of those rules and some of those morals have kind of, like, broken away from the channel. So I just wanted to kind of say, in general, like, with my channel and my community and all my different social platforms, I wanted to say, like, just in general, like, to no one specific, like, I'm not ratting anybody out, nothing happened, I'm just saying, like, I've noticed some things, and I just want to kind of sort things out, but, like, I just kind of hope you guys could be, like, a little bit more mindful in general, um, about, like, the way you act, because I know we all have, like, completely different interests. No <laughs> two of us are the same, and that's what makes this community so special, you know, like, Bill, like, you're really into, like, you're musically inclined, and you like Celeste, and you like all these, you know, different things, and, like, Vocal loves sharks, and she likes K-pop, and she, you know, she has, like, a bit more of, like, a goth emo style, whatever she says, <laughs> and, you know, Juan is really into art and futurism, you know, it, like, we all have crazy different personalities and styles and interests, so we're all very different, and I know it can sometimes be a little difficult to agree on things and to have the same views, which I'm not saying we have to do that, but I just ask that people are a little bit more open-minded and a little bit more mindful of you know others and the way they feel about things as well and then also with um the mods too like i know like peachy and star they're really cool <laughs> you know we treat them like normal viewers because they are normal viewers you know but they also have roles and jobs that they have to do in my stream like they're here for a reason to maintain things so if anything happens any bots come in any unwanted people you know like not that anyone here is unwanted but you know what i mean like people who were clearly not here for the family friendly vibe like if anything happens if messages are being sent that shouldn't be sent um then i that's what they're here for you know so it's really they have a really important role to kind of maintain the community but i also feel sometimes people don't take them as seriously as their role is like it's really fun yeah you can joke with the mods and stuff like as they are viewers but they also have a role so if like you're told to do something by the mods or like they tell you like hey let's not do that like i just ask that you like respect that and like agree you know so i just i feel like there's definitely um just things that i wanted to kind of like straighten out um and just kind of get across because i feel like over time the rules have kind of been like spreading out and like dissolving and i definitely want to try to keep uh the community the way i like imagined it the best i could because i don't want it to be too late <laughs> you know where i let go of expectations and then they just fly out the window and i have no way to like bring you back like nothing this is not like me trying to control you i'm just trying to like put the view out there that like I have rules and expectations for my stream because of the way my community is built that I just like ask that you guys follow. So I just wanted to say that in general, just so we're on the same page. It's, again, nobody's in trouble. Nothing happened. I'm not talking about anyone specific, but just in general, I have noticed some things that I just want to like overall grasp and like get you guys on the same page because I just want to like talk things out too, you know? So if anything goes wrong, um, 
I can be there to fix it. And if anything happens, like even behind the scenes with somebody else in the community and you need to like report it, like I'm not, I'm not a snitch, okay? Like I'm not gonna like go tell the person you said anything, but like, please, like if you need to come to me, if anything is going on in the community that you think is wrong or off or not following the rules, like please let me know. Cause I want to make sure that everyone feels comfortable and safe in this environment. Cause that's kind of what my, the purpose or I want the purpose of my community to be, if that makes sense. But yeah, I just wanted to clear some things up. Um for those of you who are a little not on the same page and don't quite see that but yeah I'm, I, I hope that yeah, that helps a little bit um and that we can all do things uh kind of you know the way that they're they're intended to but okay either way <laughs> the poll is done it looks like limeland has won i'm not gonna lie um i've been playing animal crossing in the mornings whenever i can and limeland is at its peak right now which usually I wouldn't think that because I, I usually think that um, Limeland is best in the summertime because that's kind of where I imagine it. But like it looks gorgeous right now. So I'm really hoping I can use that and kind of like go from like go from there to find some new opportunities to design some things. Like right now I'm pretty set in stone with my island design. Like there's just a couple things I need to tweak here and there. But like it's looking pretty good. So that's what we're going to focus on today. It'll be really chill, I promise. Just some dailies, a couple things here and there. But um yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do today. Also, hello, Star. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, do you want me to, do you want me to, like, redo the poll, Peachy? I don't want you to, like, I, that happens sometimes where you vote for the wrong things, but, um, yeah, if you, if you want to. You, no, I think you could. Honestly, Bill, I think you could. I feel like you could. Am I scared for my life? Yes. Do I trust you, though? Mm, yeah, enough to believe the fact that you could make that. <laughs> We, we've made some wild ones. Poly troll, whenever I see that troll face, I get jump scared. There are certain words now when I hear them, like they're average words, but I just get jump scared. When I hear, I, I heard the word vocal the day and I, my heart stopped. I was like, what? I forgot that was an actual word and not just the vocal, the vocal schmokel who comes in here all the time. But then I, I just, there's just certain things. So yeah, I, I see the troll face all the time. Um, Mostly online, clearly. Like, I'm not just, like, walking around and see a troll face. But every time I see it, I can only, like, poly troll. It's just, like, right there, you know? I, like, when I hear the word pog, I'm just, like, poly pog. No, you know, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Either way, I'm going to get the game um, set up. Are we sure, Peachy? Are you okay if, if we do Limeland? Or do you want to, like, redo the poll? I don't mind. We have time. It's a pretty chill day. It's Friday, you know? The music your thinks I'm stupid. No, that's real. No, because you're not. Like, that, that you're just cool. It's, it's giving, like, um... I actually don't know what it's giving. It's like school with a K instead of like a CH. But like literally that's too real. I, I feel like I should do that. I should start doing that, you know? I've done it a couple times, I'm not gonna lie. Not, not that I don't say vocal that much, like out like outside of the vocal. Um, but yeah, like sometimes I I have the urge to, so I don't blame you. <laughs> that's okay though, you know? Okay, yeah, no worries. Okay, no worries, Peachy. Yeah, if you, if you have to leave a little early, that is 100% okay. But I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get the game all set up. Uh, so sit tight. I know I already, like, as I mentioned before, I've been playing in the mornings, so therefore I played a little bit in the morning today, so I skip morning announcements. Um, I don't think there's anything... Oh, oh my gosh, I think we have... Maybe that was yesterday. I think we might have a villager in the campsite today. Don't quote me on that. I thought I remember hearing something about that. So we might have a chance to kick out Fret. He won't budge, I swear. He won't budge. Either way, I'm gonna be right back, get the game set up. So if you wanna get something to eat, uh, use the bathroom while I'm gone, you can more, you're more than welcome to do that, but it shouldn't take me long. So I'm gonna be right back.
All right. I don't know what is happening. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the frog's not working. I don't know what's happening with the screen for a second there, but we're good. Um, I am so ready to get into this game again. I already played today <laughs> a little bit, so I I got most of my fossils. I think I need to assess one of them, but let's go do that. I need to fix gameplay real quick, though. I, this is so I I don't know if it's just my capture card or what but I can only get like an HDMI cable so short because I have to get it from my switch to the capture card to get it to work but they're kind of long so it, it's hard to like get the right size where the communication between the two will be like fine but I, mean, I don't know if that's the issue maybe it's not but either way um it's it's weird because the controllers that I usually use for this switch with Limeline on it they're like my best controllers that I have for like this switch, you know, like obviously with my new one, the new controllers, 10 out of 10 because I don't have drift yet. But those ones, the, I have, they're the orange and purple ones for reference. Um, they are usually the, my best like joy cons that I have, like driftless and stuff. But it's so weird because right after I got my new switch, um, I was trying to play with the purple and orange controllers and they're broken. Like they work, but the like control, like the left joystick is weird because especially in animal crossing or like games where you walk around it will just slowly take you like to the bottom left corner like like with drift like if i don't touch it like it's just broken and it just makes your character slowly walk to the bottom left corner and i can't get rid of it like i don't know i was trying to fix it i've, I've had a lot of experiences with trying to like fix drift um ways to kind of prevent it or stop it for a little bit and like nothing's working it's just broken <laughs> and it was never like that before so i don't know what happened but i'm sticking with the white controllers now um my pro controller's dead too so that's cute i should have charged it but it's it's been a minute um i don't yeah i don't know what happened but it's there's they're still playable it's just when i don't do anything like just let go of the controllers then it um just explodes <laughs> it just does not work it doesn't actually explode, but let's see what we got. It's also crazy because of how, like, <laughs> how much I'm rationing in, like, the new game. Clearly, I have a little bit more experience now, but, um, when I first started in the new game, like, anything I can get my hands on was, like, gold. You know, like, if I could buy an outdoor air conditioner or, like, a simple t-shirt, I was like, yes, you know? Um, but this one, I, like, have everything. Oh, sorry. I should probably sell some stuff first to get in my pockets, but, um... Yeah, like, now that I have everything on this account, it's just, like, I'm, like, not less grateful. I don't know how to word it, but, like, you just gotta experience it again for the first time, and you'll know. <laughs> but, um, I'll kind of show you around some things I've been working on on the island. They're pretty small, um, but I think they're they're cute in general. I have a lot going on in my pockets. We might have to, like, delete. I'm not, what am I saying? Whoa, don't delete anything. Put some things in my storage head. I don't know how I got those mixed up. Um, I think I'm gonna keep, no, I'll get rid of this tree. I don't think I need that. I also want to, I want to have, like, my two fruits on this island. I want to, I want to mix because I'm, it's actually wild. I don't know, like, I know why I named my island Limeland, but I don't at the same time because I don't have limes. They don't, they don't even exist. But, um, I, let's see. Okay, for, I had pears, so I made my flag pears. So, like, my island's pretty pear-themed. It's Limeland, but it's, like, pears. I don't know how to word it. But I want my two fruits to be pears and apples as well. Okay, that's excessive. It's like half my money. We're not going to spend that. I don't really need it. But yeah, I, I want my two fruits. Like, I want to have, obviously, pear trees. But I also want to start planting, like, a mix of apple trees in there as well. Because I just think that'd be fun. And I love apples, like, in real life and in the game. I think they're one of my favorite fruits. I was hoping to get them with Retro Hills. But I'm, I'm still thankful for the um, cherries. I think they're cute. And they are growing on me. I think it fits the vibe for some reason. Also, Juan, well, yeah, if you need to head out a little early for your studies as well, there, there's no shame in that. Don't even worry. Um, thoughts on the next Nintendo Switch? I'm not too sure. Same with, like, I, I get that a lot, as well as thoughts on, like, what they would do for a new Animal Crossing game, and I just, it's a very hard question to answer because I don't know what ways they could improve it other than drift. That is a big one that I really hope for, like, yeah, improved controls. I really hope they fix that. Graphics on the Switch are very good, though, in my opinion. Um, I don't think there's much of a way you can improve them. But yeah, I think for the next console, whatever it may be, whenever, um, because we, we've had, like, the main Nintendo Switch, that was a really big jump from the Wii U. Like, they're similar, but it was a whole, no it's not like, you know, like, we had the Wii and the Wii U, they're similar, kind of like spin-offs. And then especially with Switch, we just have, like, Switch, and then we got Switch Lights and the OLED, like, they're very similar. Um, but when we get, like, a whole brand new console, the only thing I really want fix, and I think we can fix, is the controllers. So... That's my hopes, but I don't really, I can't quite, um, assume or even kind of 
figure out what else they would do other than that. Like, I'm not too sure, you know? That's what I'm saying to Fade. I know, like, Drift is manageable, especially on, like, depending on how drifty your controllers are. But in general, like, they take it out of me. Like, you gotta fight with them. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know what happened. A lot of my controllers are broken now, so I just depend on pro controllers or... What in the... Is it, it's giving Morona. It's giving... I don't know. I feel like they added a lot of items that I had to do with that. <laughs> Either way. Um, yeah, just in general. I think that'd be, like, a very fun thing to to fix but i don't know what the probability of that is because i know a lot of other gaming systems also deal with that um as well i don't know which ones but i have heard in general like nintendo's not the you i didn't mean to wear that we'll change your outfit anyway um but i know like nintendo's not the only company that has this issue so i don't quite know how to fix it like i don't make systems for a living but i think if they could come up with some way to fix the drift it would definitely sell really good you know like that's just a big deal breaker and it, it's a problem for everybody like and it, nobody really has any control like you can't really prevent it nor can you do anything ahead of time to like you know it's not like there's a certain way you're using your controllers like it just happens with time and with usage like i don't i don't quite know but um either way i'm gonna give you guys before we change your outfit a little walkthrough of things i've been working on with the island they're pretty small changes but i thought i'd show you anyway because i usually like to catch you up with things that have happened offline um but over here this is a really nice big field i believe i mentioned before I, I moved the campsite so the campsite is no longer over here so i was able to push back these trees that stuck out basically to here like where this book is um so i pushed them back so we have a nice narrow field which is what i wanted and i added some picnic blankets especially for spring i think that was just a really cute vibe um i added some fencing and a porta potty i don't know why i added that i just figured i would because i because i can and it's a funny item um yeah but there's not much there i had like a bike like pretty small adjustments then over here i really really liked um this area this i wanted to have it's supposed to be like a little extension to a neighborhood but since i only have so much room on my beach or on my well not my beach my town in general i had to extend it to the beach so like it's it's a little like beach side residential area and it looks a little bit more put together than the one that was on the left lower part of my beach but this is Rowan's house. Um, I changed the outside. The inside's the same. But I thought it, it was, like, really cute. It gave, like, lakeside. I don't want it to be beachside. I want it to be more lakeside, cozy, like, normal housing. You know? Like, I don't want... It to, beach is not the vibe. This is not, like, summer beach tropical. This is cozy, lakeside fun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I just... He doesn't have much of a, like, a yard. There's, like, a little plant over here. Little, like... Th these are supposed to be bushes because I can't put bushes on my beach. And there's like a like a little boat and then down this way we have nate's house actually um his is a little similar i might change up his yard i want to work on this area a little bit more today just tweak it here and there but yeah, i have Ro um, rowan's and nate's house here so it's it's just a really nice vibe i like the way it you know kind of came together this sign was like i think it had like a tree on it before and i changed it to a house not that much of a major change um i also don't think i changed anything here i do need to work on my beach though I am not gonna give in to what Rodney has gotta say. Uh, I changed all of these. I usually change these with the seasons. So the triangular topiaries, I changed from winter to spring, like the color of them. It was so expensive. They're like 5,200 bells, I think, for each of them. And I have like 20-ish. So it was a lot. It literally almost bought me out of house and home. The turnips are gonna be there. We don't have a, a campsite villager, so maybe that was from yesterday that I'm thinking of. I'm not sure no i think it was maybe i actually I don't, it's all coming back to me <laughs> i think i checked i don't remember who it was but i i don't think i ended up taking them because they just weren't really appealing to me but either way oh you finished all right let's see i'm gonna i'm scared <laughs> but um let's see it's on discord i believe you said discord hear me out on this one i'm hearing you out let's see what it looks like You know what? I'm, I'll give it to you. You succeeded once again, Bill. You succeeded once again. That's pretty iconic. That's pretty iconic. I'll, okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'll tell you this. I will um, put it in my like art app. I'll go back over the lines to make them a little cleaner and I'll send it to you and then we can replace one of the emotes with it. Unless you already did that. I'm not too sure if you did. But, um, because that's, it, honestly, you ate, you ate, Bill. Like, that's good. I didn't think, I, like, knew you would, but I didn't know how you were going to. I just trusted you. <laughs> but, yeah, that was, like, hold it up to my, hold my phone up to the screen. It's, like, it's just, it's, 
too accurate. Well, some, I don't know what's going on with my computer screen. It is radiating heat, though. We're gonna hope my computer does not blow up. <laughs> but no, that's good. That's good for sure. My joy cons are drifting. I can't win with Fortnite anymore. I know. Yeah. Honestly, we should have like I should make a merch, and it just says drift like ruins lives or drift destroys. Li that's kind of a tongue twister. Drift destroys lives, something, and then it would sell out because everyone can agree. I added. I don't know if I told you these, but I added some puddles for um spring because all the snow melted so we have to have some like puddles you know um i think i showed you this i'm just gonna show you some things it's been a minute since we've really walked on lion lands since we got retro hills a couple weeks ago this is my little playground though i want it to be pretty messy since it is by the beach um but it's really cute i think it turned out really cute i had one there before but i didn't like it that much so i think the only thing i want to do is add some playground like ground underneath it uh, if you know what I mean, but I think other than that, like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how my playground turned out. I've been on, like, a designing spree, like, the, the inspiration is just coming to me, but over here, oh, let me just walk in here. We have the pool, um, it's pretty chill in here. I made it a little bit smaller, more compact, because it was taking up a lot of space before. Um, this is the water, I am walking on water, but, um, I changed the design a little bit, so it's a little bit more pool-like. It was already before, but I, I still changed it anyway. Um, and then I added some, you know, extra plants, like that big flower wasn't there before. Um, and then I think I took away some chairs. I might have to put them back. <laughs> but yeah, I, there's just a lot of, uh, fun things. I've been doing this, like, thing where I pluck the, like, Cosmo flowers. And it kind of adds an extra little, like, stem greenery vibe, you know, without the whole jump scare of, like, white. Because the flowers in this game, it, they're just not my favorite. But when you, when you pluck them, especially, like, over time as they kind of grow back, like, the phases, I think it looks, looks pretty cute. I uh, added these plant pot things, <laughs> plant, I think they're like, I don't remember what they're called actually. I don't remember, but they're like little um, plant pots because you know, you gotta have a little entrance. And then over here we have just a little entrance. I also made this shorter because before you had to like hike to get into the pool, but this is like kind of kitty corner um, from my house to the pool, pretty nice. I added some parking spots here you know, added a little extension. The forest also, like, below me was really big. So I wanted to, like, max, or actually maximize, but also minim, like, definitely minimize the spaces that were taking up a, lo a lot of space that I needed, like, to get rid of. I'm actually gonna take this with me because I don't like the way that looks on the, like, the bottom of, I'm gonna customize it, long story short. Um, but yeah, I think that is about it. I want to change my farmer's market. That's something I'm having, like, battles, mental battles with. Because I want it to be consistent. I think I want to keep the stalls the same all year round, though. And then just change what it has to, like, offer. Um, but, yeah, it's a little too spring. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, like, pink and green. And I'm just, want, I want to throw up. I don't know how, I just don't know. <laughs> um, but that's something I'm going to do. I don't know about on stream today, but eventually, in general, I want to change that. But let's change your outfit first. Y'all ever look at Twitch and see someone you're following is streaming? And you just go, wait. Who the scallop is that guy? I do all the time. I, I follow a lot of people. Actually, I follow a good amount of people, but I have been following more like over time. It's been growing. So sometimes somebody goes live and I'm just like, hmm, got to really like, especially newer people that I follow. I have to like remember who they are before <laughs> I um click on, on their stream. I'm usually, I'm a big lurker when it comes to streams. I lurk in a lot of streams. It is rare that I will chat, but I definitely need to start doing that more. I'm a bad viewer. Like, let's just be straight with the facts. I can't view things. Great. You know, it just happens. I love these, but I wish I could find a way to, like, style them. Um, These are cute. I can, we can also do some colorful kind of something. It's, it's spring. You gotta have fun. Um, I'm kind of liking the things we bought, so let's just add on to it with um things we already have. This is kind of a cute combo. Let's just, the, the browns don't match entirely, but it's okay. Who said they have to? Um, let's do, what's this? This might be a little, yeah, that's a little too off. It's cute though. It could work. The potential's there. Oh, we could do like a frilly, no, that's like a, this is like has a, like a tint of blue in there. I'm not loving that. Why is that called? What does that say? A Midwest? Oh, I was like Midwest sweater. What is a Midwest sweater? A midwinter sweater? Um, you know, I was halfway there. No, that brown still does not match. <laughs> what about? Okay, fine. I, I, let's, I give up. Let's just go back to that first one we had. Um, what was it? Oh, this cardigan. Okay. And then hair. Let's do the 
bow. Let's just do, like, a white bow, I guess. That would probably be the simplest. I could do, like, a black one, too. No, I'll do white. It's cute. And then bag. This one's not bad that I have currently. But I think... Oh, evening bag. Oh, that's cute. Let's do Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. Look at the fit. It's not giving spring. It's giving more like fall, winter, but I'm here for it. I just suddenly went for like this cottagecore vibe on Lyland. I don't know what happened, but I'm definitely here for it. Like, like the whole house and stuff, like it's giving cottagecore and I'm here for it. And the Fortnite season came out last night. So many people tried to play and all the servers crashed. That happens for a lot of games. Um, like Roblox, usually, it's usually Adopt Me that does it, but they will put an update out and everybody hears about it all at once, so they all join and all of Roblox just crashes and never recovers. Same with um with that 3.0 update that came out in Animal Crossing, like the final one. It came out um a little less than a day early, but like the night before it should have come out, and somebody figured that out and they told everybody. And let's just say the message got out really quickly. So Animal Crossing fans were screaming. Everybody literally joined online so quickly to download this new version. And it crashed, basically. And even Star, because, like, Star told me. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I was on my Switch. And Star was like, why does mine say it's going to take? It was, like, 72 hours to update or something insane. I don't know. And it, it got a little shorter with time. You know how sometimes it's like 10 hours and then it goes to like five and then it's like 45 minutes. It like shrinks down within 10 seconds because it just needs to figure out how many, how much time it will actually take. It went down a little bit, but I think in total it took like literally 16 hours for real to download. It said 16 hours and it meant it because of how intense everybody was like charging to get into the update. It was so funny actually. Sometimes I randomly remember that. I'm just like, oh my gosh um but that, it just happens with games and i think they need to work that out there's somebody needs to do that you know um should i get upload the stupid geometry dash video or should i wait until i finish uh the this actually sort of well-made video Ooh, i would say wait i would say yeah get the like the well well-made video you do you though you could do either um but i yeah you do you but if you i would say if i if i had to say then i would say wait a little bit but <laughs> the jokes one not the um making legit progress ones yeah the jokes one for sure also i hear you who's peachy get out we have to get bill i thought you didn't give peachy permission to be in the voice chat anymore i don't know hello alex welcome in how are you doing no okay surprisingly i have not played as many kirby games as i should i've seen a couple by default. Like, I've seen Wobbly play a few, some other streamers, um, but I myself have not played many Kirby games, so I'm not familiar with it, but I might need to look more into that. Um, Jeep's been making cars. I would believe it, but I didn't know that off the top of my head, you know? I guess so, Bill. <laughs> she comes in every stream just to, like, use the fart sound effect, so. <laughs> she should keep- oh, wait, does she still have the perms? She should keep them. That's pretty fair. I don't mind. <laughs> I was just, I'm just curious because you said you were going to get like rid of them and then it never happened. Okay, Evergreen Ash. I'm going to make this one has bricks, but it doesn't really fit the vibe I'm going. For. Whoa, that just like glitch. Yellow could work, whatever that means. Let's do that. Let's do that one. All right. I love Jeep, not Jeep trucks. I know Jeeps are really nice, but PG, I do know you have a very deep hatred for Jeep trucks for whatever reason. I don't hate them. But personally, I would not get one myself. Like, I, they're just, they don't really, sh like, strike me. They don't tickle my fancy, you know? They're just weird, kind of. But I don't hate them. I'm not, like, gonna throw up like Peachy does every time you see one on the road. That's fine, though. <laughs> There's just, have you ever just seen those cars where you're like, what is it? You know? Like, you really have to just analyze every single thing for a second before you can actually come to the conclusion of what you're looking at. Because I, I see lots of, like, one-seated cars. You're like, oh, Okay, it's giving, like, when I see those, it's giving, like, Adopt Me, Livetopia, like, roleplay Roblox, Meep City cars. Like, that's what it looks like to me. And I'm just like, okay. Like, I've seen some where they're exact replicas of, like, like, Peachy, you know, like, the Livetopia. That's exactly what they look like, you know? Um, oh, yes, I have heard about that, that it's International Women's Month. But it's like as Waldo was saying during our collab stream, he was like, it's a big day for women. Big day for women. Whatever, like, Peach was in the lead. I think she ended up... No, actually, I think she got second place. But literally, I feel that. <laughs> Yesterday on my time. 
uh, International Women's Day. So happy International Women's Day. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate that. Um, for all the other women in here. I don't know who, who else is in here, but Peachy for sure. Happy International Women's Month, for real. Let's Okay, let's actually stop off at Happy on Paradise because we haven't done that for a while. You do that, though. I'm going to need to check it out for sure after. All right. I, I am I have about one swig of water in my water bottle like we're rationing here fine all right I don't know what we're gonna find here probably nothing much that's okay it's okay guys <laughs> this is where I found Maggie she was on my beach and I fell in love with her so she's also one of my dreamies I usually don't have dreamies but you ha sometimes it just takes that one run in with a villager to like, no, they're dreamy. Oh, I like them. Some of these villagers are wild. <laughs> oh, Flo, I kicked her off my island. Don't make eye contact. Maybe I look a little different than I did when I first started the game. Hope, cross your fingers and cross your, yeah, toes and fingers that she doesn't recognize me because I feel bad. She was one of my starters, like the, um, sisterly villager that i started off with and i kicked her off because i did not like her <laughs> it's okay though okay okay this is also the most wild telephone i've ever seen in my life and i keep seeing it in the game but i just don't know how to feel that's okay not seeing much in the gift shop today let's go to the restaurant i don't know if i actually can get to the kitchen and get a recipe we're gonna have to see how i left it though i don't know if i changed it back that I think it's literally still a fancy restaurant from my fancy restaurant video. Like, I low-key use this restaurant. I also redesigned my um, clothing store here, too. I think that one turned out really well. I did not switch that back because it needed a little upgrade. But this one? Oh, no, I did. I, I did make way. Okay. Queenie. Hello. This one, I also changed the name. So, it's not like... I don't know what I called last time. It was, like, half English, half Spanish. Not grammatically correct either way. But, um... Oceanside Bistro is kind of where it's at. All right, let's go back here, though, if I can fit. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Little struggle. But we have to get a recipe from Bruce. Hopefully, it's one we don't have. I did get a new recipe. I think it was this morning, actually, for fruit scones, I believe. I think that's what it was. But that was the first time in a while I've gotten a new recipe. So it is not looking too bright, but I still hope we get something new. No, I already know that. That was one of the first ones that I learned. <laughs> Salad stuffed tomatoes sounds so good, though. It's basically just like a stuffed pepper, but in tomato form. Man, a stuffed... Oh my gosh, sorry. A stuffed pepper just sounds so good right now. I also don't know... I don't know what a salad stuffed tomato is. But, like, that also sounds so very good. So, I might have to <laughs> look into that as well. All right. Bruce. My man. So maybe somebody will like this. I have recipes stacking up in my storage that I have not used yet. Well, no, I mean, I can't use them because I, they're ones that I have, like, duplicates. Replicas that I've already, like, learned and I can't learn again. So that's, they're saving up. Maybe, like, Nookazon or some of you guys might want them. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. They're gonna, like, kiss. They're, oh my gosh. Also, I don't, Oh. How does that work? In my last restaurant, I don't remember what the um, rhino's name is, but she ran the cash like yeah, the cash register, like she was the cashier. And then Queenie was a waitress. And like I have cash register here, but like how are they both like waitresses now? I don't know what happened, but we're gonna just smile and nod at it. She calls me chicken. She's not a chicken. I don't think she's a chicken. I think she's just a bird, so I don't know what she means, but all right, there was not much here. I think I already have everything I can get from the cafe, so we're just gonna head back, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. Also, I, I just run into every single thing when I walk in this game. It's so bad. <laughs> so bad. All right, Wilbur. Guys, are you team Wilbur or Orville? I I have to say I'm... Actually, let's go. I'm gonna go back to Harps. I didn't look at all of the things that I could buy there, so let's do that first before I forget. I have to say, though, I'm probably team Orville. Which feels bad. It's it's being that's like being Team Timmy over Team Tommy, but Orville's just like good. He's just better. Wilbur's not bad, but I just haven't had that special connection to him. Not yet. All right, let's go. I'm I don't know who's on my island today. Maybe it's Flick. No, I made that up. I have no idea. So I think we sh that means we should have everybody 
on Harlem's Island. I didn't really look around the first time we went here. So let's do that real quick and then we'll head home. But Okay. No. <laughs> Wilbur Bill not the Bills Bob. What? How did you get how did you put Bills Bob in there? <laughs> not my grammatic like typo. You know, Bill. It's fine. Just go ahead and make fun of me. <laughs> but like Okay, I'm just gonna smile and nod because, you know. Okay, these are all really cute items, but I think I have all of them already, so. It's Bill's Bob? Okay. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, you know? Like, not Eve. Thanks, thanks, Bill. Really love the enthusiasm. <laughs> really love your, uh, you know, you ran out of examples. That's okay. It's like, uh, when Star came into the stream Wednesday, she, all she said was, um, Holly Roaring Nintendo and Warble Jury, whatever that means in chat, and the way I read that exactly, ex like how it should be. Wild. Wild. But that lives rent free in my head now. It's just that it's like really intense cursive of our names, and I can appreciate that. Also, I'm still very much considering adding a cursive mode, but I don't know if I can do it. That was really hard to do. It was just slowly becoming British. I felt like those, you know what I felt like when I was doing, like, the, the cursive mode? I felt like those, um, stereotypical British girls, if you know, you know, with, like, the really big eyebrows and, like, really big eyelashes and puffy jackets and stuff. If you know, you know. Bill, you might know. I feel like you definitely have to see those kind of girls every day. Oh, they also wear, like, the really crazy foundation, you know? Bill. You have to buy something with your 800. Um, you have to buy something with your 800 that costs 800 that's available for 800. Cursor mode is not available for 800. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna see if I can, um, yeah, let me, okay, pause for a second. I'm gonna see if I can look up a picture because I really, I feel like you might know if you see it, but maybe it's just a stereotype and it doesn't actually exist. I feel like it, someone's gotta be like this, though. Um. Okay. These are scary. I'm scared. I don't know what to look up, though. Okay. Um. I'll find something. Don't worry. If you just look up British girl, it will come up right away. If you look up British girl, it will just come up. You will you will know what I'm talking about the second you see it. At least you you will know what pictures that I'm referring to. Um, tell me if that's real or not, if people actually do that. If they do, I'm so sorry for you. But, you know. Curse of Moda was 800 when we replaced Truth or Dare. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know about, about that one. It has to be something that's currently redeemable. I think you only have, like, two things. Or you could do something less, too, if you want to, like, waste your money. Um, there's either modif- well, actually, no. Uh, there's only one thing, and it's Truth or Dare. So, truth or dare, I guess. But that's fair. I can't say because it's not- It was only cursor mode that one time. It's not cursor mode today. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see where I want to start. I- Okay, let me first put that evergreen ash British mode. Okay, fine. I'll do that because that is a thing. <laughs> um, okay. British mode it is. The timer has stopped now. Five minutes. I, I, I've also, like, okay, I always knew this. But I extra learned, you know, when you just listen back to yourself. I can't speak in a British accent. It just doesn't work. I, I heard this one girl, though. I, I mentioned this before. She was on American Idol, and she was my idol because I don't. She her, Obviously, she was from London, so she had the accent. But it was just so much better than mine. Which, again, makes sense. But I, I can't do it. That's my goal in life, is to be able to do the British accent and sound like a real Brit. Not a southerner. Apparently that you don't like that, Bill. You're, you're just not a southerner supporter. So maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe it is though, I don't know. I don't like that. That looks so bad right there. I don't like that. Okay. Bill, do you think that if I actually went to Britain and spoke like this, people would take me seriously? Or do you think they would know something was up and they're like, you don't sound like that? Or do you think they wouldn't doubt if I was like actually British but they would definitely think that I had a weird accent. Okay, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'll take it. But I don't know. I don't know. 
I've okay. Fun fact: this is this is very interesting because in America, I hear all sorts of different accents every day, all the time. It's just very normal, you know, because it's kind of like a melting pot culture. But one thing is, I don't hear very many British accents. Like, I think you're one of the first actual British people that I've met, Bill, <laughs> or like you know, known of. But I think it's very interesting that I've like it's rare that I will ever come across somebody who like actually speaks. In a, with a British accent, and I don't know. I just get jump scared sometimes when I hear it, and I'm like, oh, okay. It's I don't know. I know some people who like though, like they 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 know lots of people, and I'm like, where who where are you meeting these people? Because I just don't hear people who have British accents. I think I have like once or twice maybe. No, actually, I I, I know one person, one person that comes to my mind right away that I like know, well knew. I don't know. I didn't really know them, but like I, I know of them, I guess, that I have met. Um, but you know. Breaking news. Paul Wong Nintendo and several other frogs in Bill's pond in his garden. What? Bill, there is no way. Are you kidding me? Did my cousins die? I've had a lot of cousin deaths recently and I'm very just upset. You don't need to drop that news on me. It's giving BBC. I'm so sorry to hear that, though. Is it because of, like, the harsh weather? I thought that they, um, went in the pond for, like, the, the winter time. I feel like I'm, it's definitely not warming up in Britain in early March, either. Like, you feel like you got some more cold weather. But that's so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. Also, hello, Rubio. Welcome on in. No worries. You're 100% good. Um, I'm not too... Like, I want... Okay, actually. I'm trying to think. Okay, let's actually put some things away. I need to clear my pockets a little bit. Um, and then we'll do something. I have moved out because someone was streaming and that's true. I do get a little loud. I get some complaints from the neighbors, but that's okay. Um, sometimes I just scream. It just comes naturally. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So Super Jacob Famous Game Show did one last episode too. Everything like related to Super Jacob was ending. Okay. Like, how come? It's just like the lore is over or, you know, let me know. As soon as you know when the last episode is, I need to know for sure. Because I'm very like, I don't know how it's going to be wrapped up, but I trust that it can be. Like, I feel like there's going to be some way it'll be like, go out with a bang, you know? Um, they would have. That's what I'm saying. I, you know, I, I definitely um, believe that. I be like, you know, sometimes just streamers in general. Also, I still don't know how people just don't know what a Twitch streamer is. Like, I feel like that's pretty common. Like, a streamer, a live streamer. Like, that's not a common thing, I guess. Because I've had to explain it to many people. And I, sometimes I feel stupid asking people if I ever need to explain it. Like, it's rare that I will. Like, it, there's very few select people that I will actually mention. Like, other than, like, family and friends. Like, if I need to, for some reason, share that I am a Twitch streamer, I always have to ask them first. I say, do you know what a Twitch streamer is? And I usually get very, like, weird looks. And I'm like, it doesn't... I don't know what you're thinking it is, but it's probably- I, I don't know. You know, it's giving point Crow when he had to explain after he- like, he had to explain a couple things to his doctor after he got, like, tendonitis from speedrunning calculator. First off, he had to explain what a Twitch streamer was. Then he had to explain what speedrunning was. And then he had to explain how he hurt himself while speedrunning calculator for Switch. That's embarrassing. That's a really just not a good day for like point crow fans. But you know, either way. <laughs> All right, the timer ended. I can not speak British anymore. I think honestly, if I went to um, I was gonna say British. If I went to Britain and I spoke like that, people would definitely be like, "Oh my gosh, she's one of us." Like they would not have a doubt on if I was. They they would know if I was American or British because I would just you know. Why? That's such a random number. It's like odd. I don't like that. That makes me gag. 13, not even like $14, 12. Like it could have been even. 13. Probably it's just evil. It's an evil number because Wobble Dude. Not Wobble Dude. I'm already I always say that Wobble Dude like gives the vibes of Point Crow if he was family friendly. Now I'm getting them mixed up. Point Crow, you know, hurt his wrist from it. It was just evil, you know. The killer said it's super Jacob. Join alongside with me. We can't end this. I know how to add the killing program to get rid of us. Oh my gosh. I No, the whole thing about like them like tw like twisting the whole vibe of the death cycle. Like it's insane. It's intense. This is a really cute. Is it like, oh, it's a fossil, I believe. Let's get that out. Um, I want to get more plants. I feel like that'd be kind of like a good thing. 
but I also don't know what um to do. Let's actually let's get out a gar like some garden lanterns, you know. He said the death cycle already ended, so we should. Oh, so that's yeah, that's true. We don't have a quest. Like you're, there's just nothing. Like there's no problems happening, you know. Oh my gosh, the killer's like, girl, we already did our job. Well, like, what do you mean? No, that's fair. But, like, the, if the death cycle's over, too, like, I feel like everything should just be coming to, like, it should be wrapping up. But, like, there's something there, you know? Doing more than we need to do. Okay. Shout out to one guy from Minnesota asking, where the nearest gas... Wait, where the nearest gas station is, despite the fact he's not in a car or near one. And also 100% not from Minnesota. That's the most real thing I've ever heard. It sounds like a very average Minnesota run-in. I have never been to Minnesota. I drove through it one time. And, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It was actually a really cool experience. Minnesota, I feel like, is pretty underrated. But, um, that's pretty... Like, I feel like anything Midwest like that, it's giving... Or, like, I don't know if Minnesota's in the Midwest. Close enough. Northern, Midwest. It's definitely giving that vibe. That sums it up. I'm not a villain. I'm just misunderstood. Oh, that's so real. I'm not a villain. I'm just misunderstood. So, killer is pure evil. Like, I think the killer is a good guy in some stance. Maybe anti-hero. You know, he's he's not out to get anyone. He's just not a hero. Like, he just doesn't... Maybe not... He's not there for the heroes. That's fair. Respectable, for sure. We're gonna start with this. We're gonna ration with what we're doing. Um, I don't really know where I could put... Give me a minute. I don't think I... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I could do that. Um, I just want to find a place to put this lantern where it won't, like do anything like you know get in the way i can't oh my gosh jiminy christmas J i say jiminy christmas so much now i also don't realize i don't realize the things that i say are weird until people give me like a big side eye you know like i say jiminy christmas all the time and people are like what what does that mean and i'm like um it's like a fake bad word i just have to that's how i explain things that i just say it's just a fake bad word it's like uh what else do i say i say with the rip i got that one from vocal what the rip like i don't i don't know like I, when people are like what does that mean i don't know what what the rip means ask vocal if you care but like what the rip that's all i gotta say to that okay i can't push that out let's do like this there we go and then we'll put like a lantern i have like a floor light for rowan's house but let's switch it up um i'm gonna put i have like a black and white one let's see which one looks a little bit Oh, wait, I like that. That one matches, like, the base of the house. I do like that. Okay, that, that one's nice. It also matches the lantern above the door, so, like, that could be a good sign. And then... Okay, actually, they're both really... Okay. What, which one are we liking better, guys? The black or the white lantern? Um, Killer kills people since he was designed for it. Uh, Not what he wants. He is not, like... That's fair. That's actually really real. I'm kind of going towards the black one, by the way. Doing all villains, all villains list, which was the creepiest to least creepiest. Okay. Okay. I feel like he also, yeah, just didn't have, like, a say over that. Like, it just kind of happened. I'm going to put that bistro table um, on, the, on the rocks. I think that's a pretty good spot. I had it here before, but I think I switched it for some reason. Let's do um that, I guess. It's a pretty good angle, you know? And then the garden chair. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And then I gotta place it in a good spot, you know? Actually, I might move. Okay, let me see if I can do this. We're gonna move this table down a little bit. I'm not loving the spot. Not loving the placement. That's okay, though. Okay, and then where did I... Was that how I had it before? I think that was how I had it before. Let's do this. Okay, we're not. <laughs> that works, too. I just can't wait for Animal Crossing to, like, um exist like i just wish i love animal crossing so much i wish it was real you know i guess if you think about it everyone except four people were villains rupier wasn't a villain like i feel like he's definitely one of them um i feel like super jacob he had his days he was definitely 50 50 so i can't 100 percent say he wasn't a villain I'm, i he's not on my four ruby is for sure the only one i can think of maybe there's more maybe we are considering Super Jacob, like, not. Daisy as well. She could be. She could be. Like, not a villain. 
I think she was like she like the villains definitely used her for their plans all the time, but I don't think she really gave in. At least like not actual Daisy did, you know. But I don't know. Who who were like the the actual four people who um weren't villains? Also, I'm gonna fix the fencing um behind Fauna and Carmen's house. I'm not loving it. Alright. Let's real quick. I think I had um some kind of iron fencing as well as white board fencing. Let's see what we can find though. It was oh this. And then I'm just gonna get out this like iron fencing. I think those are the two. I'm gonna die. It was for sure the white vertical vertical board fencing if we're getting typical, you know? Oh, okay, I was I I, I got rupier. I knew I was iffy about the other ones. Do I wanna do these? Let's see. It does get a little weird if you're like. I'm working on it, don't worry. I know, sometimes I do forget. Sometimes I do forget that I was in the show. Okay, so me, killer is very interesting for an answer. I'm not gonna lie, because he had his days. He, like, I'm not gonna lie, he had his days, but I think, like, I can agree because in the end, in conclusion, wrapping it all together, like, he was good deep down. He wasn't actually a villain, like, as you said, anti-hero, but definitely not bad. And I, I, I do understand that, like, digging more into it. And then the real Super Jacob. I know we had some iffy times with Super Jacob. Like, he was definitely, as he was a failed experiment, um, especially, like, the non-real Super Jacob. Yeah, he had his times. He went to different dark sides. He betrayed people. But I think if we're talking about the real Super Jacob, that makes sense as well. So all the answers make sense. But yeah, sometimes I forget that I'm, I'm in the show. I have some weeds over there I'm gonna pick. Let me do that real quick. Also, can we all agree my island's like eating right now? Like, I think it's very close to actually being able to like cross the point of a town tour and I'm so excited. I'm trying to like hold back from doing it right away. Um, but I, I'm so excited. I, I want it to be a very cinematic video. Like I want to have minimal to no talking or voiceovers and I want it to just be full on camera work, you know, maybe like a big walk through at the end or something. I'm still trying to work out how I want to like piece it together, but I want it to be very cinematic, very beautiful capture my island because I've been working on it for probably like two years now. It's wild. And it's weird to think about that. Like, because I remember first coming up with the idea, like the exact time that I literally for like forced first came up with the idea. And that was so long ago, but it doesn't feel like it was, you know? Bestie, you need a favor. Maybe you've heard, but I had a fight with Fret over something unimportant. I said something I shouldn't have, and I feel really bad about it. So I got him a gift to make up. I'm having a hard time facing him right now, though. So I was hoping maybe you could deliver it for me. Unfortunately, even though it's Fret and you did the right thing by yelling at him, I will do it. <laughs> oh, this means so much. Thank you. Here's the gift. Um, gives me the question: Why are the good non-field projects bad? That's true. Like maybe, also I'm thinking because they were made in the same place as some of the failed projects. Like it was just maybe something with the environment. Like that's kind of something I've been thinking. Um, but I also, I'm not too sure. Like I honestly couldn't answer that. Like they died before Super Jacob and the killer. That's true. Like there were, it was iffy, it was iffy. I'm gonna, I don't know if I can get this fossil like. Oh, I can't. That was actually a really good aim. Like I'm usually not that good. But it wouldn't have worked. Everyone knows Polly's famous. Oh yeah, thank you. That's the good audience who helps out. I do, I do. But I don't know. That is a really good question, though. I can't quite think of what would ha like how that would work. I'm gonna see real quick if I can also fix this little piece of land that's bothering me. Oh, Pashmi. Okay. Hey, so I need that spot right there, Pashmi. Right where your big fat butt just sat down. She's just she's just doing the the job of a villager. The way she. Okay, that's actually really funny. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's review. Let's review. Let's review. Okay. Here's my thing. What the rip was that? I want you to watch Pashmina very carefully. So I'm over here. I'm, I'm chit-chatting it up. I'm like, hey, I'm going to fix that sharp corner of the land. So let's get out the island designer real quick. She notices. Pashmina's like, hey, something's going on. She's going to sprint to right where I'm walking and pop a squat because she can't help herself from ruining my work. 
Love you, Pashmina, but what the rip was that? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> um, so, yeah. She's just doing the job of a villager. It's fine. Come on. Is she- is she really in my way that much? Oh my gosh. Germany Christmas. She's like, fine, I'll move. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I was like, um, what? <laughs> okay, let's go put back that yacht. I don't know if I'm too much into the space. We're gonna see if it works. No, it does not work. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> let's... I also, I'm gonna put some more of that, like, iron fencing where it needs to go as well. This is supposed to, by the way, it looks weird right here. It is supposed to be in the water. Uh, I know I, like, reconfigure that whole area because I was trying to make it so... Because, okay, pull up the map. As you can see. Um, probably can't, you probably can't see. Let's do here. I'm gonna zoom up. This before, like, behind my house, this area of, like, water was just there. So, like, that little river that connects from the main river to that was not there. And it felt weird to have a random space of water with nothing connecting to it on my island. So what I did was um, connected that like little river canal thing. I don't really know what else to call it. So that way it would be like a little less awkward. And I like that I added that, but like the, the goal was like with the water to make that boat from right here look like it's in water. Like when you really take into the, like consideration the fact there's like water there. I don't know. I, th I think it works though. It, it worked enough. <laughs> you know, in fact, uh, in the lore, she's the one who finds out the Easter eggs. And once, oh, really? Upgrades on the suits? Nice. I'm just, I'm too good. I'm just that good, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I think the, let's actually go back down. Also, not my braids, because I <laughs> had to replace my hair with the helmet, my wig, so I have braids in. I think they're cute, though. But, um, I'm going to get my storage shed so I can get some fencing out of there. Let's do that. I don't know. I don't know if I actually collected all the fossils today. Because I, I keep finding some random ones that I clearly did not get. But, um... Did I water those? There we go. There's some sparkles. <laughs> Alright, let's get some... Let's see, I, don't, I probably should just move this closer to me. That way it's a little easier. Also, now it's weird because with... um I just noticed too, with the custom Polywog bot name. Like it was Stream Elements and then I changed it to Polywog bot. The questions of the day are now appearing in like on screen chat which didn't happen before so i don't know what that's about but i'm not complaining <laughs> kind of kind of nice i don't know i did that though oh do i have oh it's it's in my pocket so i just went all the way for nothing that's okay i'll take this with me there's not too much work i'm doing over there anyway but if i need to do anything else i'm also gonna um pluck some of these things just to give it that chic overgrown effect without being flowers oh carmen oh She's, like, sitting really- just in that little corner. Honestly, it, it looks like a pretty cozy corner, if you ask me. Not me running into everything. It's a problem with stream. I do that. <laughs> okay. Let's head back, though, to this water area. I think also this tree is looking a lot better with the, like, wooden base rather than the brick. The brick was, like, not the right shade. It fit the brick pattern, but, like, the colors weren't quite, you know, the right vibe. Okay, um, I think it's this iron fencing. Perfect. I'm just gonna extend it a little bit to the left because I think that's what I need. I also want something that I'm, like, really looking for. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna do, like, one. That's enough. But something I'm really looking for is a, um, train pattern to do some kind of, like, a train effect on my train tracks. But I'm still working on that. I have not figured out anything that I want to do, but I hope that I can. Clearly, I have not gotten all my fossils, though. There's a lot all over the place, so we'll have to get those assessed. I also think I might need um, more blue iron fencing. We might have to just, cr like, crop that from scratch to make it a little bit easier. I'll figure that out, though. Yeah, I don't know why I have so many fossils. That's, like, three I think we found already after I assessed and sold them. That's okay, though. Um, Let's, real quick, before I forget... Unfortunately, we have to give Fret his package. I know. It's so sad because we don't like Fret. We want him to get out. But we gotta we gotta do the right thing, especially for Bertha, because Bertha's a W. Alright. I hope he likes this. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's something really No! I hope he doesn't like it. What am I saying? I hope it's something really ugly. Okay. His house I will give it to him that his house is really cute. Like I know it's like messy, 
but it's just it's an aesthetic it's a vibe it's a style life lifestyle really i don't know i wish he told me how long it's actually been actually i don't think it's been that long i think i talked to him not that long ago, like maybe a week or so ago week two two weeks ago um oh his dot eyes are so funny if he was just permanently like had dot eyes i would love him a lot more but no okay either way um i with him talked to him like two weeks ago because i was trying to do that thing where you're like you bond with them because if you bond with them they have a higher chance of leaving that did not work though i guess but i really wish that he told me actually for real how long it has been since we talked you tell me hun what is it garden gnome that seems like such okay actually we have to like preach on bertha's part because that's such a good gift for like a grumpy villager cranky villager like a garden gnome it's fitting the vibes okay you're so welcome fret i love you okay oh wait, no oh my gosh what is wrong with me what is wrong with me i did not mean to say that oh my gosh i need a, i need to, like i need a timeout or something what was that there's no way i just said you're so welcome friend i love you oh my gosh ew ew i won't forgive myself i will hold that again like you don't even have to do it for me guys i will hold that against myself i will remind you hey remember that time that i said i loved fret after we were on no why why did i do that i don't know the subconscious was really really like i don't even feel like that like whatever bye fret i do feel bad though like i'm not gonna lie i do in general feel kind of bad for fret um mainly just because like he didn't really do anything wrong i just chose to, i just i'm picking on the wrong i need to pick in somebody my size okay i'm a little too tall for him all right it's like tall girl i think i watch oh, here's my thing with tall girl <laughs> On Netflix I watched the first movie and it ended up being very weird would not recommend and then they came out with a second one like anybody asked when we all collectively agreed by all I mean everyone who's watched Hog girl collectively agreed that the first one was bad enough yeah but they came out with like a second one that have not seen it but I really am like fighting the urge to just because I think it'll be funny but it was just it was a really weird movie I'm not gonna lie I don't know what it was about but I like Heard the hype when it first came out, watched it, and everyone was like, actually, that sucked. And I was like, yep, it did. Um, and then they made a second one. One of the main reasons I did want to watch it in the beginning, uh, or to begin with, was because Sabrina Carpenter was in it. But that only took the movie so far. That only enhanced its ability to suck. Well, okay, no, Sabrina did not make it suck. But, like, it didn't fix the ability. It, it didn't fix the fact that it was a bad movie. We'll put it that way. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna plant, um, that thing. I guess that's the only flower I have. I actually, I, it's so wild because I used to not have green mums and I dream of having green mums and now they're like overgrowing and I didn't even realize that until I'm like, wow, I actually have a ton of green mums. Also, in a minute, I'm gonna take a bathroom break real quick. So, hold tight. I'm just gonna assess my fossils, sell them, and then uh, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. But yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it just didn't look all around my island for the fossils. I think, though, after these three, this should be all of the fossils for today. And then I'm going to sell some things. And then we will get back to stream. I love Blathers. He's also very underrated. People are mean to him because he yaps. Which is like, okay. Like, me too. Me too, hun. I understand. <laughs> but, you know. I don't. Here's my thing. Because, like, in real life, unless I'm around people that I'm, like, that I really know, like, I don't yap, okay? But stream, my yapness really comes out. And it needs to, because it's stream. And I used to be really bad at it, actually. And I'm sure if you were here, especially Bill, I don't know if you're still in here, that's okay if you're not. But, um, Bill's one of the OGs. You were here ever since my, like, ooh, it was, like, my, uh second month i think streaming which is wild and i've been streaming for a year and a half now so yeah you've been here for for a while and i used to be really bad especially when i didn't have a lot of people viewing which was like fine like i was just starting out it's completely understandable but um i could not yap like yapping was not a second language to me like it is now and it's wild it was so wild because i look back at my old streams especially my first one like i was a nervous wreck and I remember freaking out before I was like, I was in like the starting soon screen. Like I didn't know what I was doing. It was mostly just like, a, I got to start somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing. And I won't know until I'm live until I do my first stream. It was that position I was in. 
but I did it anyway. I jumped into it, and I remember being so nervous and looking back at the bod. It was so like, I get secondhand embarrassment, but I'm also like, pat yourself on the back because that was. I was shaking in my boots, but I've gotten so good, and like streaming low key has helped me so much in like. <laughs> like, situations where I need to, like, say stuff. Like, I'm really good. Like, I can master handling awkward conversations and situations now because I can just say anything that I want. No, that's a lie. I cannot say anything that I want. Nobody can say anything they want, but, um, I can, I can say things and make it less awkward, I, if that makes sense. I just got really good at, like, talking. Um, so, shout out to stream, for real, for, <laughs> Helping me speak. Because I'm, I'm not bad. I never was bad at speaking. But, like, speaking is just a very complex topic. As weird as it is. But stream is so fun. I swear. I'm going to stream for as long as I can. Also, I have to say, I absolutely adore the uh, spring theme that the shop has now. Like, I know I've already seen it many times. But it's wild. Alright. Um, I'm going to stay right here, though. And I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It shouldn't take more than like three to five minutes. And I'll try to make it as quick as I can. But um, if you guys also need to use a bathroom or get something to eat uh, or just stretch your legs while I'm gone for a minute, you are more than welcome to. I think I'm gonna run some ads while I'm gone for a minute. Uh, but yeah, other than that, just sit tight. I'll play some music ads and I will we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I'm ready to go. Yes, Wobble Dude, I did wash my hands. <laughs> um, but welcome on in. How are you doing today? Okay, um, I was gonna say something that I completely forgot. Once again, what was I gonna say? I don't know. This is so random too. Um, but can you guys believe that? How many days from now? Oh, um, I think it's like twelve. I can't do math. Oh, I was right. Actually, I think it is 12. 12 days. A whopping 12 days. Less than two weeks. Animal Crossing New Horizons will be four years old. Four years old. 
That's old. Uh, it's making me feel old. And... I don't know how to feel about that, okay? Like, Animal Crossing New Horizons is turning four. Like, the number four... That's wild. But I do stream on that day. It will be a Monday. That's a lie. It'll be a Wednesday. What am I saying? It's Wednesday that I'm streaming... And we're going to have to do something to celebrate for sure. So I don't know if we're actually going to do... That'll be in like two weeks from now, roughly. Um, so I think we're going to have to skip Stardew that week. And we're going to have to celebrate the fourth anniversary because that's big. I'm still sad though that they have not given us any more yearly balloon arches. As well as anniversary cakes. Like we only have the first one. And then we have two year arches. But we, we don't have 2023 or 2024. And I'm sad about that. And we only have the first anniversary cake. But I, I really wish they gave us like a new design each year for the anniversaries. Because those would be so fun. And this is kind of a big game. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you know, I appreciate the Lord. No worries, Wobble Dude. I know you mentioned before you were going to try to stop by because you had some plans today and, you know, if you weren't able to. But yeah, I'm glad you're able to stop in. No worries at all. But, um, Carnitas, the, that sounds delicious. I hope you enjoy those and I hope you have a ton of fun with D&D &D tonight for sure. But let me know how it goes. But yeah, thank you for that Lord. I appreciate it. Um, okay, where were, where were we? Where were, that's a weird, that's, a, it's giving like, um, edited, like, I can't do it. I think I'm actually, I'm just going to like get a head start. I'm not going to like reset it up, but I will be taking down my spring um, farmer's market, market, whatever you, seasonal market, whatever you want to call it, because I'm changing this design later. And until then, I got to like at least prep the area. So that way I have like a, a clean, fresh slate to kind of work with. But um, I, I'm not loving it. And I don't know if yell at me if you want, but like, I just, I I don't know. I have many other ideas. And the, like, pink green is like cute, but it's not enough. I'm not feeling it. Like, cherry blossom petals, hunt. Cherry blossoms, where are they? Huh? I'm looking around. I don't see nothing. But we're gonna put this away. I'll leave the stalls out because I'm gonna customize those later. Oh my gosh, Jiminy Christmas. Where's my. Did I put that? Um, Where did I put my storage shit, actually? I think it's down here. It's not short-term memory loss at this rate. It's just working memory because I'm always doing something. So I like can't remember. But um, let's just figure out. Where is my storage shed? Jiminy Christmas. Maybe it's, uh, is it still in my pockets? Did I put it back in my pockets? Hammock. No, it's not. It probably would be right there. Unless it's like further down. Maybe it like went in a different place. I don't know. Oh, st it is there. Okay, storage shed. Perfect. Today I wrote the word edit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, that doesn't look right. And my friend yelled at me for being stupid. No, we all make some wild mistakes. I, I used to for the longest time. This is something I'll always remember. Like, I've never been the greatest with spelling. Um... Like, I, I, like, on the spelling test. Spelling tests were, like, a fever dream. I don't think spelling tests ever happened. But I do distinctly remember them at the same time. But, um, like, I could do good on those. If I studied, I would do good. But, um, like, in general, like, I still, for the life of me, could not spell the word necessary. I don't know why. That is just one word. I can't spell. And it took me years to figure out how to spell believe. They're, like, stupid words. Every single time I spell it now, I'm like, be, lie, v like so stupid <laughs> so stupid i i know there's like a live that's how i know or not live it's lie l-i-e whatever that's besides the point my point is um yeah like you're gonna have those words that you just can't spell and that's okay but just so you know now you, you spell it correctly in your message at least one time that's all that matters <laughs> but yeah like i i also could never spell the word what it would always be uh like w-a-t or w-u-t I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. There's also, like, when. I just spelled it W-E-N. Preach. You know, shout out to my second grade me. But that was pretty well. One more thing. Are you going to be planning to film another video for spring? I have a ton. For uh, spring videos on YouTube, one, I'm going to be doing a ton. I'm not going to spoil all of them. But there are a ton of um, spring and, like, holiday-themed videos coming in March. A little bit of May as well, but mostly March, including things like Bunny Day and My Town Tour, because I mentioned I was going to be doing a town tour in spring. So, I want to do it, like, as soon as I can. So, roughly around, like, the 24th, I think that Sunday I'm going to be uploading it. So, keep an eye out. It's the 24th of March. I know it's a little ways away, but I'd rather do it later and have my island be more put together than sooner just to get it out and have it not be as professional i guess 
Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'm very, very excited, but, um, I'm gonna put my storage shed. I need to, I need to, like, fix this pond area. There's, like, a rock there I never got, um, I'm not, wrong thing. I never got around to, like, getting rid of it and actually smoothing out that pond, but I wanted some kind of a pond because if I want to get all of the fish you can in the game, I think there's a couple pond fish that I'm missing, so I wanted to be able to have a source, like, a permanent source to get those fish from, you know, and not just have to, like, craft a pond and spawn one to get the fish like no i gotta have a little pond so that's what i did but let's real quick take care of this come on <laughs> okay perfect i only really need one i think that should be good perfect and then i already have the island designer out so i think we'll be pretty good on that perfect i think that's it can i squeeze through here oh i can i can actually walk over there oh that's perfect i love it I also, I think, put something, maybe, like, some trees. That feels a little weird. I don't know about you guys, but, like, putting trees here feels a little weird. We're gonna do it anyway, though, because, um, it's Polywog Nintendo, so let's do it. <laughs> because it's Polywog Nintendo. I don't know what that means. We're gonna do it because it's Polywog Nintendo. Oh my gosh. Can I only put, like, one tree in the center? Maybe we don't want to do that. That looks weird. Maybe, uh, I have, like, a pine tree or something in my storage we can use. I have always have a couple extra, like, artificial plants. Um... Hashtag artificial Lorax tree core. But, you know, they look nice. So, let it die. That's what I say. <laughs> okay. Where are they? Apparently, I do not have um, that kind of tree. Unless I'm not looking in the right spot. Apparently, I do have that kind of tree. I'm not looking in the right spot. Let's do... Um, I also... I want to use some more of these triangular topiaries. But, that means I have to customize them. And that's going to take a bit of time. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Let me at least put the pine tree down. I love this item for sure. It's a cute one. Oh, yeah. This is giving, like, zen. Like, why is this kind of eating? Also, why is the grass, like, almost match perfectly? I love it. Oh, I like that tree there. That's good. That was a good... That was good on my end. Good call. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what other... Maybe, like, a leaf pile. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I don't know if I have or where I have bushes available. I don't think I do because you can't put it in your on your beach and I don't know where else I would put it if I didn't put it in my beach. I think I sold a lot of bushes, so that's bad. I did not want I was not a good speller. I, I made the geography be runner up one time, if that counts. It wasn't great. But you know what? It was better than um not being the runner up. So that's all I gotta say. But yeah, I, I was never really great with spelling. Like I wasn't bad. Like I could spell, but I had my errors. There were some wild things. Like, when I look back on papers, I'm like, oh. I don't know who let me do that. <laughs> I don't know who didn't correct me either. Have you seen those videos and they're, like, teachers, like, um, laughing at, like, not, like, laughing. Laughing with the children's papers that they receive because they say really wild. Like, they have crazy spelling errors where you're like, that is not what that means, you know? <laughs> I think those are so funny. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like... If that was a thing when I was in school, teachers would definitely record me and put me on TikTok because of the things that I wrote. I don't know. I always like writing, though. I was a pretty good writer, you know? I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I am now. Like, it's... Writing is, like, um, for me, like, I have to be in the mood to be able to write something good. And usually writing feels more of a hassle to me than, like, relieving. I know a lot of people, like, write to relieve stress, but it, honestly, it creates more. It's just, like, hassle and My wrist hurts after. It's not great, but <laughs> in general, writing, I think I'm relatively good at it. So, I would, say, I would say I was a good writer, but when it came to spelling, even now, I'm just like, ooh, you know, the necessary always gets me. Could not spell it. I also, I'm a, I'm a bad mental speller. So, if somebody's like, is how do, like is this how you spell, like, whatever, and then they, like, verbally say to me how you spell it, I'm like, hun, I don't know what you said. Like, it just goes right over my head. Or, like, if somebody... Like, that's why I'm, I'm bad for spelling bees. And I never made it to spelling bees because I can't verbally say how to spell things. If somebody's asked me, they're like, how do you spell? Believe. Hun, I gotta be, like, air writing that in the air so I can, like, see how it looks. I can't do it. I'm bad at, um, <laughs> verbally spelling. It doesn't work. But I know people who are just magnificent at spelling and speaking. It's just a, a natural gift to them. And I'm like, cherish it. Because, you know, that'll come in handy. <laughs> but I'm going to finish up this last area. I don't know what I'm doing with this area. We might switch this up a little bit later. I can't actually get up there. But in general, 
we're gonna keep it pretty chill. I don't think I can... Is this a spot? Oh, it is. Okay, nice. Let's put this plumeria bush. Oh, maybe I can't fit that there. Maybe it's too close. Hun. You get to have a spot. I'm trying to, like, inch up a little bit. <laughs> Wait, what? I know there's a spot. Don't lie to me! Don't lie to me! Do we just, like... Okay, let's let's do this. And then, like, hope it just lays in the spot. Why not? Why not? We'll put this first. Why? Am I stupid as to why this is not working? <laughs> Come on. There, okay, there's, there we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna put, um, this right here. I may be a little trapped. That's okay, though. You know, like, YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. <sighs> well, we'll find a way. Let's do this. I just hope I don't get a fossil in that corner. Jiminy Christmas! <laughs> I feel like I should be able to, like, plant it right there. It's so close, you know? No worries, Juan. I wish you luck with those studies for sure. And I will hopefully see you Monday. Uh, if not, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and a great weekend as well. Thank you for stopping by. Do I want to put... I have, like, leaves. So I'm just making this so much harder than it needs to be. Do I want to put them... We're, gonna, we're leaving it. I'm running. Running for the hills because I can't mess with them anymore. That's not bad. I just need to add a little greenery in that corner. It'll look cute when they're in uh, bloom as well. But we're going to put that away put some things away that I have in my pockets. I think other than that, I know I might be ending stream a little bit early today, um, but I think we've basically, there's not too much more I can do in the game. I think we've got a lot done. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And yeah, no worries while we'll do it. I'm just about to end stream as well, but I hope you also have a fantastic night and I hope you have fun with D&D uh, as well. But thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Okay, but... Um, Thank you, everybody, who has attended today's stream. Next time I'll be streaming will be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time for some more New Horizons. I think guaranteed we will be playing on Retro Hills then. Um, I know I, I'm going, like, from there on out, do the 50-50 poll so you can choose between Limeline or Retro Hills. But I only did that today since um, there was some things to do on both islands. So... Monday will be a Retro hill stream with Animal Crossing, so if that sounds fun to you and you want to stop by, please feel free to do so. Also, if you did enjoy this stream and want to follow or subscribe to the channel to show your support, I would definitely appreciate that. Although it is not necessary, it is definitely appreciated. And then also keep your eye out on Sunday because I will have a new video out then, so if you want to go check it out on my YouTube channel, Polywog Nintendo, I would appreciate that as well. And then also, I'm, I'm thrilled for the time change. I have mixed feelings about it on Sunday, but I feel like I'm not gonna, like, I'll see you at the same time Monday, but it'll be weird. <laughs> Either way, um, again, thank you to everybody who has stopped by today, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye!